Craig, you've seen every kind of Melbourne Storm performance over the years in terms of gutsy. Where do you rate that one? Yeah, pretty high up there. You know, I don't think we played that well, to be quite honest. Um, but you know, I think you sort of summed it up there, Joe. I think we were really gutsy. You know, we had a lot of a lot of tackles to be made in our you know twenty meter area and. Um, We've got right our feet there a few times, but we just kept, kept you know, finding the way to, to keep turning up. And so that was the really pleasing part, you know, our effort, which, you know, we sort of pride ourselves on. Um, as I said, I think we can get a lot better, you know, if that, I think that we must have been, you know, 20 metres on there. I know it was probably about 15 minutes to go. It was like we were in there for, you know, eight or 10 minutes, you know, it seemed to be. And um, that's when, you know, we had some bodies sort of, Look like they were, like did set out in their feet, but you know, we just kept finding the way. And um, it might have been a little bit different if that try they scored, you know, if, if it had been allowed. But you know, it, it wasn't. You know, he, he, he ran behind his own man. So, but um, yeah, that would have been a bit deflating if that had happened. But yeah, like I say, I, I yeah, I, I really can't remember a time here. Um, you know, when you know, I reckon we. I wouldn't say we played poorly, but we just, you know, just at certain times we just need to, you know, settle down a little bit. But like the efforts and, um, you know, the guys just, you know, backing each other up, I, I thought it was, you know, tremendous. So, like I say, we're really happy. You know, they're a tough, tough side to beat, and um, you know, they, they probably, you know, a little bit flat after coming back from England. You know, all that travel, but. You know, I still thought you know they play reasonably well, and I thought you know we defended un unbelievably. So um, all good. The streak continues. How do you how do you do it every year <laughs> round one? Yeah, well, I really don't do it actually. I, um, <laughs> I'm sitting up in the box, so um, the players have done it. Man, it's a nice record to have it, I suppose. You know, but um, yeah, we, we just sort of pride ourselves on on what we do in the preseason, and hopefully. You know, we can have a good start to the season. You know, look, if you don't have a good start and you've got some Origin players in, in your team, it, it's it's hard to you know to to gain momentum. You know, at, at the end of the season, you know, before the finals. So we always like to get off to a reasonable start. And but you know, that's only the first game. You know, we've still got a few more that we uh, that we need to play well in, and hopefully we can do that. Skipper uh, Harry pulling off uh, 40 plus tackles in defence, uh, pretty. Influential stuff in the middle. Yeah, well, we were pretty sure that, that they're going to spot him up every time um, we play Penrith. Um, I think they put the goggles on James Fisher Harris, and he just aims at Harry all the time. So, I, probably 30 of his tackles were on him. But, um, but like I say, he, he's really stood up, you know, great tonight. And you know, we, I suppose, we didn't really want to give him a rest. But it looked like he needed the rest. I think he had, you know, a fair few tackles up then. So, but we just got him off for 10 minutes, and then, you know, he's obviously, you know, hugely important player in our side, and we put him on for the last eight or nine minutes, and you know, he really tightened us up there. Harry, obviously, you guys want to win every game, but do you, do you actually talk about the round one streak? About, I don't know, keeping it. You don't want to be the first team, I guess, to to lose in 20. Two years. Yeah, I think everyone's aware of the streak, but um, we definitely didn't talk about it as a group or um, as a team from the coaching staff. I think, like like Craig said, it's it's a byproduct of um, all the hard work we've done throughout the preseason and you know what we did through the week with with our preparation and uh, you know we we trained really hard and very smart and tweaked a few things with our game throughout the preseason. So I felt like. We didn't play that way tonight, but uh, we did play brave and we played gritty. So if we've got that there, then there's a whole lot to work with. So it's important that um, yeah we, we work on our game and build our game, but you know, we continue to keep that effort and, and that grit. Harry, uh, last time you um, faced the Panthers, they obviously scored you know 38 points. Was that something that ate away you guys uh, over the summer and also in the back of your minds tonight? Uh, not not really. We, we haven't really spoke too much about last season. I think, you know, it's we got a really good group here that's spent a bit of time together now. So uh, we feel really comfortable with each other and um, a few changes in our team, which, you know, everyone sort of 
felt that breath of fresh air and um, was was looking to to make their mark in those positions and I, yeah I don't think we looked too too far back I think it was more you know what what we can control this season and um, taking confidence out of our preseason and yeah like I said it's round one so it's important we continue that grit but uh, yeah you can't get too uh, too complacent or happy with it. Okay, it looked like you changed your game plan a little bit, like to, rather than try to take them on through the middle, that like you played with width right from the get go and seemed to make some real inroads. Is that, is that did you sort of formulate a way to uh, beat well, the Panthers? Yeah, we've probably done that a little bit too much because that's where we made a few of our errors. But um, yeah, we think we got pretty you know, some pretty good ball runners on our edges, and we think we've got you know a couple of pretty good halves too that could lead the way and we, you know, we fall back out the back and it was great to see Paps play with the confidence that he played with tonight, you know, he was very strong, he didn't shirk at any at all, you know, he was just uh, the tough Paps that we, we all come to love, you know, you know, a couple of years ago before he had all those injuries, so um, yeah, like I like to say, there's, um, we, we see that as a bit of strength of ours, but we just need to you know, fine tune a few things and hopefully uh, it will make us yeah, a bit more dangerous side too if we can. Jonah Pezzett really put his hand up, setting up that first try with that kick. Really impressive. Yeah. Oh yeah, again, he's he's an impressive kid and the thing, you know, we all I think he played two or three games last year. Um, but you know, he's he's got obviously a little bit older this, this year, but a little bit more mature. And um, you know I suppose being brutally honest, you know, I I, I don't know how important he saw defence last year, but he says it is important this year. I thought, you know, he, he done a really good job defensively too, because he's a smart footy player, he's a, and he's a really good kicker of the ball. Um, so, yeah, I think he's got a you know really good career ahead of him. Um, as I said, you know, he was, uh, you know, he would have got exposed, you know, tonight if he if he wasn't, you know invested in, in defending well and you know that's what he did and you know really played his part well. Craig, how likely is Cam Munster do you think for next week? Like I heard him say on the field that he's quite sore today and it's kind of up and down. Uh, he'll be flying tomorrow and then he'll be sore again Sunday. So like that's how it's been the last you know couple of weeks. So um yeah I am not quite sure to be quite honest. Um I'm sort of sick of asking because at the end of the day it's it's good one day and then not so good for the next. But you know um, at the end of the day, we're not going to rush him back. We, you know, we just need to make sure he's he's 100% when he comes back because it's a long, hard season. And um, you know, you know, if we can have a fit Cameron Munster in our team, that's you know that, that's going to help strengthen us. Craig, do you think uh, Nick Meaney uh, settled into his new role? Yeah, no, he's good. Yeah, he's a kid that. Um, you now, when he first came here, he, he, with all due respect, he probably lacked a bit of confidence in himself, which was. Always a bit strange to me. He had, he's got a whole heap of ability and a whole heap of know-how about the game. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, guy with that sort of ability. But you know, he's he's really got confident now. You know, I think he played the full season last year at fullback. The year before, he played three quarters of the season in the halves. And now he's playing the centre. So you know, you, you're not going to. You know, you can't do that unless you're a really talented footy player. And we think, you know, he's going to really turn into a an outstanding centre, um, but you know, with whatever role we give him, he he, he excels, and um, you know, we're really impressed with him tonight, and uh, he's a great kid to have around the club too. Joe Chan, oh sorry, here you go. Just back on uh, Joe Lopez, just wondering, obviously, about the mentality of the kid because he's come on huge occasion, late inclusion, dropped a bit of a dolly early on in the game, and he's come back, played a massive part in the try. What does that say about his mentality as a 21-year-old? Yeah, well, again, you know, it's yeah. You know, I think he's learned a bit from the last couple of years or the last year. Um, you know, and he's he's done his time up in Queensland Cup. So, um, like I say, he, he was great out there tonight. And, you know, really done his job really well. And that that's all that's all we asked asked of the guys tonight. You know, round one, just do your job as well as you can, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can get you know a result, you know, which we did. But like I say, the thing I'll say about him, like he really played his role well and you know he's a confident kid too I'm sure he would have been bossing a few of them around out there um, you wouldn't think so young, young some some young halfbacks you know 20 21 they 
you know, they sort of get bossed around himself. But um, Jonah don't lack confidence. So, and he, he, as I said, he's a smart footy player. So um, he would have been doing a lot of the directing out there tonight. Uh, Joe, Joe Chan, obviously starting to boo, had a, had a great game. Uh, do, like, do you remember him when he used to hang around with his dad, like he was just a little tucker when his dad was uh, playing? And no, like, you not, know, well, how did you see his game tonight? Yeah, not really. Um, yeah, I like, yeah, I thought he was just short of a run. And with all due respect, he didn't have the the preseason that we probably would have liked him to have. You know, he was in rehab there for a fair bit. Um, yeah, I thought he, yeah, you know, he looked really good with the ball. Um, just a couple of times we probably need him, um, you know, to to be a bit more active, you know, on, on that edge. But like I say, I I think um, you know middle is probably his best spot. But you know, I thought he'd done a, a really good job out out there tonight. And um, you know, so the more games he plays and the more experience he gets, he's you know he's going to be one hell of a footy player because he's a he's a he's a pretty good athlete and. Uh, so, like I say, you know, getting used to, you know, the players around him and uh, it's, it's okay to train them, but, you know, when you get out there and you get under fatigue and you get under pressure and, you know, it's a whole heap different to train. So, um, you know, I thought he done a reasonable job tonight, but, uh, you know, I'm really confident he'll get even better and better, if, you know, the more experience he gets. Uh, Harry, uh, was it a proud moment for you tonight to, uh, to be able to captain, you know, a great club? And, uh, you know, what did it mean to you? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, proud and, um, yeah, honoured to, to be in this role, but, you know, probably more so the club and um, the position our club's in and you know, all the people that have played and, and been in this role themselves, but uh, nothing really too much changes for me. I think, you know, it's we've got a really good group, like I said. Everyone leads themselves well and uh, we've got a really strong leadership group, so I don't think too much changes for me. It's... Uh, just about yeah, playing well, and I think it's you know you can just sort of thank a lot of the people over your journey um, from under fours when I started or under sixes when I was four years old playing. You know, they shape you into the man and the player you are. So I think it's probably more so opportunity to, to thank them for everything that they've done for me, and um, yeah, just keep playing my role and keep keep uh, being comfortable and confident to to do that within the team and. Uh, hopefully we can build for a good season. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And, of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Ain. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.